Welcome back. Following on from the last episode, this episode I'm going to get the pistons out and hopefully start taking apart, obviously try and get try and get this rotor off. I soaked the bolts. Uh, I've actually cracked them now. And most of them are loose now. So what I've done, it's an easy way I find so I don't actually lose things and I can remember which order they came out. I've basically got three pieces of card. I've marked them up back, mid and front. Corresponds, so I've got... So that one off. So the back one corresponds to this bolt here. These two, these two should be there, and these two. And then I can hang that up mid, it's exactly the same. So you've actually got the two back ones, it's three this side, two this side, and then for the front, it should be six. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and the last one at the back there, six. Again, with the pistons, I'm going to take one out at a time, put it into a bag, label it up. Basically, it's piston one, two, three, and four. So, hopefully, then. In theory, I shouldn't lose any parts. So it'd be pistons out. I'm going to have a go at getting the clutch out. Try and get this rotor off. And then start undoing these bolts. And put them into the right piece of board. And then see where we go from there. Alright, so looking at my diagram. That's basically a breakdown. Obviously the head's already off. So it's basically that. So each piston, three rings, two circlips, and a gudgeon pin. So we'll start getting the first one off. Right, put a cloth around the piston just in case I drop anything. Alright, this is going to be fine because it looks like it's seized in place. It's not actually moving. If not, I have to try and get it out from the other side. see in there I've actually just managed to dislodge it move it round it's now just there just use a very fine screwdriver There we go. Now I need to do the same the other side. cleaning up. That's the first one out. So basically exactly the same. Let's 
rotate the engine round. Bring it up as high as it will. So you don't have to use a cloth, but I'm just worried about dropping something. Circlip in an engine. Not something I fancy trying to find. Alright, do the same again. All right. Second one out. Alright, so that's two down, two to go. So I basically laid them out as I'm taking them out. So one, two, then three, then four. Alright, let's get the other ones out. Alright, the last one's just coming off. a bit more. That's the last one. All right, so that's all four pistons out. As I say, these are all going to be cleaned up. I'll check the rings through, try and get all this carbon deposits off, clean these piston heads up, give them a good clean inside. So I give these a clean as well. And then literally I bag each one up and label each bag. Alright, so next job. Let's try these bolts. I mean, I've been looking through the manual periodically. I may have to undo this lot and then turn the engine over because there may be some more bolts, I think some more bolts inside but we'll have a go at these and see where we get other thing I need to do is get that off alright so all I've done is used a bar through that's your crank to crack this middle nut Right, so that has come out from there. There is a bigger screw thread inside here, bigger than that, because that just fits straight through to actually pull this off. So that's the next job. Right, let's try this way. Seem to be moving. All right, finally, that took some time to get that off. So at least that's out. Alright, next bit. I'll try taking these bolts out and see if I can actually split from the top rather than the bottom. But we'll see how that goes. 
So I'm actually going to start with, I'll say that one is nice and loose already. Tip the engine forward on this one. And then that one, we'll go through that hole. So that's the first seven out and in the board so I know that's the back seven so from the two four six one only seven All right now I'm going to attack the midsection which is one two three four five six seven and then fill up that board And that's the mid board full up. So what's left now is the front six. Spin the engine round and try and get this clutch off. Right, and that's the front six bolts out. So these ones are along here. Right, next job, spin the engine round. See if we can get this clutch off. I'm going to use these in similar to star, the star fashion that I did the ST with. Even though everything's going to be replaced. It just evens the pressure out. Some leverage on there, they've been in there for some time. There we go. Right, front of the basket will obviously give it a good clean. He's thrown in the bin. So they've been in here so long, they're actually stuck together.
All right, I'm a bit stuck on this at the moment. I might have to go out and get a clutch tool. Because obviously I can lock, I can lock the outer basket. I can't lock the middle one. It's different to when it's actually on a bike. So that might be all I can do today before I get a clutch tool for this. That should probably work. I should be able to get that nut off then. But so I'm happy all the bolts are out. I've labelled the pistons up. Each got their own bag, one, two, three and four. I'm so pleased that pulley came off. So yeah, I'll have to continue that uh, in the next episode. I should have thought of that before I started really, but uh, as I say, learn as you go. Then again, if it had been in the bike, it would have been easy to put it in gear and lock it up completely. But as I say, as it is. So I'll try and get hold of a clutch tool for that and try and get that out the next episode. All right, so thanks for joining me on that one. So sorry I couldn't get further, but uh, I should have thought of that before I actually started. But uh, yeah, so next thing to purchase is a clutch tool. Then I can actually get that nut out and take the clutch off. I'm still thinking I may have to turn it over and go in through the sump, but we'll wait and see if I can get the top half off. That's great. But uh, I'll do a bit more studying during the week and then see how we go. The other thing, I really appreciate all your comments, all your feedback, it, it means so much. Um, it really helps drive me forward and helps me learn and hopefully I'm helping you learn. You see things from a different perspective, you can give me ideas etc which is really great so keep that feedback coming. I do try and reply to every single comment Obviously as the channel's growing it does start to get more difficult but I, that's one thing I've always done. I've always replied to every comment so I will keep that up for as long as physically possible. Subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of every video so please like and subscribe. Also uh, hit the bell, turn on your notifications so when a video comes out you'll be the first to know. Links to other videos top left and top right normally uh, are best for viewer and playlist and also you'll see in the bottom left hand corner is a link to my patreon so if you wish to help or donate then hit that link and take you straight to it and join me again next time thanks for watching cheers bye